How can I tell you that answers aren't easy and questions keep coming along? Times when we do what we think is the best, but we end up getting it wrong. But there is a light up ahead, chasing the darkness away. Head for that light if you can, then listen to what your heart says, what it says. Now you're here at the border, and they're checking your papers to see if they'll let you come in. Are you for real? The person you say you are, or are all your details a sham? Then they'll shine that light in your eyes, searching for truth in your stare. How will they know what they see, and how will they know if you care? We seem to be living in awkward times Are they getting worse by the day? Trying to find a way to heal all our wounds And chase the darkness away Out of the shadows and into the sun's bright rays past the frontier and into the forest and you're making your way through the trees the sun dabbles down through the branches above you and the leaves whisper soft in the breeze but you can't find the path you are seeking won't somebody show you the way is it the one to the left or the right should you listen to what they all say, what they say. Now you're out in the clearing, the horizon is endless, but the journey has only just begun. The choices we make, the positions we take, and we know they're not the only one. When you hear all the voices, around you, saying you've got it all wrong. You just have to hope you made the right choice, and that someday we'll all get along, we'll get along. We seem to be living in awkward times, are they getting worse by the day, trying to find a way? Heal all our wounds and chase the darkness away Out of the shadows and into the sun's bright rain So how can I tell you that answers are easy and questions keep coming along We think it's the best, but we end up getting it wrong. We seem to be living in awkward times. Are they getting worse by the day? Trying to find a way to heal all our wounds and chase the darkness away. Out of the shadows and into the sun. Bright rays. Oh, 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 and into the sun's bright rays. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our concert. Now, that was awkward times, and boy, we've been living through some awkward times. And this is the amazing Jennifer Bingham. Thank you very much, Jennifer, and you'll be hearing from her uh, towards the end of our program. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. And behind me, uh, the Ad Hoc String Ensemble. 
And that's Maestro Steve Bingham here uh, uh, leading the show, a good friend. And next to him, uh, Ross Chalmers uh, playing violin as well. And we have uh, Brenda Stewart on, on viola. And she's not just the world's greatest viola player, but she's also the rector of this beautiful church where in all saints whiten this hallowed and wonderful space. And so enormous thanks to her and the parish council of this church for letting us offer you the concert from All Saints Church Whiten. And next to her, the first time in, 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 uh, in, in the ad hoc string ensemble, but it's lovely to have you, is Estelle Fernand. And then we have the wonderful Josh Lynch. You'll be seeing and hearing a lot more of him as the evening goes on. And finally on double bass, uh, Phil Toms, fantastic double bass player. I'm not only a fantastic double bass player, but all the string arrangements you hear this evening have been written by Phil, who is responsible for the beautiful sound that you'll hear around me. So that was Awkward Times, and now we're going to move on to a song called We Will Rise Again. So on, um, on the day after Donald Trump became the president, I rang my brother to talk about it, and, and being a bit of a, an old drama queen, really, he said, um, oh, he said, the age of enlightenment is dead. And so I sat down to write what I thought was a slightly funny song about that. And it turned out to be less funny as it went on. And of course now, with, with whole movements like Black Lives Matter and things like that, it seems to be more relevant than ever. So this is called We Will Rise Again. After the rain came falling and the truth was washed away I called my brother on the telephone just to see what he would say He said leave me here to mourn a while and rest my weary head All the light is darkness now Enlightenment is dead And when the shock was over And it seemed all hope had gone I asked my sister what we should do She said we must be strong Cause even after the blackest night The sun comes up at dawn So grieve a while and then stand tall The struggle carries on And I say We will rise, we will rise again We will rise we will rise again We will rise We will rise and then Then we will sing And we will rise again I asked People on my side of the street How things had got this bad But no one had any answers They just walked past looking sad And on the other side of the street Was the gurning, churning throng Who told me what a fool I'd been How I'd got the whole message they were giving seemed empty, full of hate. They said it's all someone else's fault. Lock them up before it's too late. We'll 
build a wall around us Stop outsiders getting in Cause we've got a right on our side You lost, we won But I say we will rise, we will rise again We will rise, we will rise again We will rise, we will rise And then, then we will sing And we will rise again Blackest days, hope flickers in the wind. Come hear the songs of freedom that the righteous people sing. And for every dull eyed zealot, there are five good people true. So raise your voices, walk with us, let justice bloom anew. We will rise, we will rise again We will rise, we will rise again We will rise, we will rise and then Then we will sing And we will rise again We will rise again We will rise We will rise again We will rise We will rise And then Then we will sing And we will rise Again We will rise again, and now the sextet are going to leave, and Steve, Maestro Steve Bingham, is going to stay behind to play us some beautiful violin. This is a little piece called Kayla by Suzanne Lundeng. It's a Scandinavian folk tune um, for solo violin and it makes use of the violin's ability to do two notes at once played on two strings um, it's just great fun
In 1873, a harp player from Sweden called Olaf Sjerden went to visit his friend Samuel Ferguson in Dublin and he was looking for new tunes for his, for his harp playing, his concerts. He was apparently known as the Paganini of the harp. And um, Mary Ferguson, Samuel's wife, uh, said, um, well, I've got this tune which I collected in the west of Ireland. It's a, a folk tune called uh, The Tailor's Son. And this was the tune. Samuel, could you write me some words for it? Because then I could sing it. And Samuel Ferguson was well known as a poet and in literary circles in Dublin. He was a lawyer and a poet and so on and so forth. And so he sat down and wrote some words. And he called his words, The Lark in the Clear Air. Dear thoughts are in my heart and my spirit soars enchanted as I hear the sweet lark singing in the clear air of the day. For a tender dreaming smile to my hope has been granted. And tomorrow she will hear all my fond heart hopes to say. So in uh, 2016, I was, um, I was in Girona in Catalonia in Spain and I'd just spent uh, the day visiting schools and I came back to my hotel room and I hooked up to the internet to check out what was going on in the world. And you will all remember this day. The first thing I saw was a picture of a man called Nigel Farage and he was standing in front of a poster of desperate refugees and he was smiling and chatting with journalists and using it as a way to try and 
persuade people of his uh, opinion. And the next thing we heard on the very same day uh, was, was about the murder of Joe Cox, a young 41-year-old woman who seems to be one of the best and members of parliament there's ever been, and, and her philosophy it was just incredibly moving. It was a terrible day, anyway. And, and so the next day I, I, I flew home, and, um, and on the plane on the way back I wrote a song about it, which these two events had provoked, and it's called The Dub. I was 16 when the news came down the wire And all us young lads sat and stared and felt the heat of fire For a young man down in Dallas, a town of myth and magic law Used a gun and petty hatred for his own sad lonely war Led us still in Mexico in the ease of early days And the New York TV said Chapman, a man bug-eyed and crazed And shot and killed the best of us, even if he was bizarre But his music, passion, life and joy had got us all this far so you can say you're being reasonable It's only what you know But when you talk up fear of otherness We reap just what you sow You can stand before the cameras Smile and gurn at what you've done But when you stoke up lies and hatred Mad men will get their gun Or an evening in Old Compton Street When a small, sad, lonely fool Used a little bag of nails and trash And he thought he was so cool Or further down the track and worse Another had a go At targeting the other In the hate of Orlando And the people there lay dead and hurt But the hate became a dove which saw what he had done and wept and turned it into love a name that lives in infamy Timothy McVeigh and they told him it was someone else's fault politicos not he for the government is bad you see and he heard the syndicate and he was thick and he was evil down in Oklahoma State. So you can say you're being reasonable, it's only what you know. But when you talk up fear of others, we reap just what you sow. You can stand before the cameras, smile and gurn at what you've done. But when you stoke up lies and hatred, mad men will get their gun. I was sitting in my hotel room in the Catalonia dusk And suddenly I'm crying Cause the news this time's too much On the one hand is a so-called leader Using refugees as meat And the other is a perfect world Lying dying in the street And she talked of us together And how we live as one but the bigotry of racists fired a madman, a madman with a gun. And good people heard the dreadful news, and their sorrow was a dove which saw what we had held and lost and turned it into love. So you can say you're being reasonable It's only what you know But when you talk up fear of otherness We reap 
just what you sow you can stand Before the cameras smile and gun at what you've done But when you stoke up lies and hatred Mad men will get their gun I reject your vulture politics Cause I prefer the dark She said we're all in this together Then what remains of us is love So my eldest uh, uh, granddaughter is, is five now, but when she was about two months old, uh, I was sort of thinking about the kind of world she was being born into and growing up in. And so I wrote her a song. Uh, this is called Freya's Song. I turned on the radio just the other day Heard the news and it was bad People crying, people sad Other people trying to ruin what we had To get their way So much senseless slaughter Nearly every day it seems Bombs in the city, guns in school, angry zealots Trying to play it cool, but they're just schoolyard bullies Playing the fool for their crackpot dreams But fear not, see here The dawn will come breaking with the morning light Don't you worry the sun will come shining through Fear not, see here The dawn will come breaking with the morning light Don't you worry The sun will come shining through The sun will come shining through I fired up the computer And the screen filled up with tears Young kids dying on the oily sea Families trying to be safe Trying to be free People just like you Just like me Fleeing their fears And the rich man Still in his castle the poor are at the gate The world's not fair and that's a fact Never gonna change unless we act Gotta get this poor old planet back on track Before it's too late But fear not, see here The dawn will come breaking with the morning light don't you worry, the sun will come shining through. Fear not, see here, the dawn will come breaking with the morning light. Don't you worry, the sun will come shining through. The sun will come shining through And then just yesterday I held you in my arms Never felt so big Never felt so small Never wanted less Cause now I had it all Knew I'd walk through fire God, I'd even crawl To keep you from harm Cause in this world you've come to There are people brave and strong People who will see you through 
Good people, funny people too People who will care for you Long after I am gone So fear not, see here The dawn will come breaking with the morning light Don't you worry The sun will come shining through Fear not, see here The dawn will come breaking with the morning light Don't you worry The sun will come shining through Yes, there is bad stuff too And I guess there'll always be Fear in the morning, terror at night the president's fortress and the migrants flight but there are people too trying to make it right for you and me people trying to make it right for you and me people trying to make it right could be you and me it could be you People trying to make it right Could be you and me Oh, oh, oh yeah. People trying to make it right Could be you and me Freya's song. And now, uh, apart from Josh, the sextet's going to leave because we're going to have a chance to listen to Josh playing on his own. It's a real pleasure to be able to play for this session today and it's a wonderful pleasure also to play in this fantastic church which is so well suited to play in the cello. I'm going to play the Alamand from Bach's first suite.
Josh Lynch, everyone, the wonderful Josh Lynch. Thank you, Josh, that was fabulous. Um, Josh and I have had the great pleasure of performing together a number of times as a duo, and so we're going to do that again now. And we're going to start with a song called Burning Tires, and this is the result of uh, seeing a picture on the BBC website during the battle for Aleppo of these kids uh, um, surrounding a, a, a pile of burning tires and, and they were trying to make big black smoke because they hoped that that would stop the bombers, Russian or otherwise, from bombing the hell out of their city. And I remember looking at that photo and thinking how unbelievably different and fortunate my life as a child was. So this is burning tires. There in the photograph, proud grubby faces in front of a pile of burning tires. The children's defense force to stop the big aeroplanes from dropping their bombs from the skies. But as for me, when I look back, I remember sunshine, the midges that danced in the heat. Swimming in clear streams and staying up late for a treat. That's the life that they should be having, summer sweet. There in the photograph, down at the water's edge, a young boy face down in the sand. The glittering waves wash his poor, lifeless body, bereft of a future once planned. But when I look back, I remember surfing all the fun that we had at Pulsar. The wind on our bodies, the wet sand beneath us, Warm towels laughing, catching our breath. That's the life that he should have had instead of this pointless death. Muddy ground, a small girl stands all alone. Clutching a plastic doll, she's a refugee, trying to remember a place called home. But as for me, when I look back, I remember the fireside, tea and biscuits, and a story for bed. Under the covers, safe from the thunder, and nothing much to trouble my young head. That's the life that she should be having instead. But this is the life we have given them with our greed and our bloody wars. Our hearts break when we see the photographs But it's us, we are the cause So 
here in this last photograph taken just yesterday seems like everything is fine look the children are growing up they're all happy together you can almost hear the laughter flow like wine but in my mind's eye still see the children's defense force the young boy lying dead on the beach The refugee children fleeing wars that we made for them and praying, praying it's safety they'll reach If only we could learn the lessons the photographs teach Cause they're in the photographs There in the photograph There in those photographs Burning Tars The other day I was listening to the radio and I heard a, a, a piece of classical music, at least I thought it was at the beginning, uh, a singer in an orchestra singing this incredible tune, but it suddenly became quite clear it wasn't. It was a, must be a folk song, it must be an old folk song. And so I quickly looked it up and it turns out indeed that it's a, a fragment of a, of, of a, a ballad from uh, the late 1800s, uh, which was collected in a, a book of northern ballads. And I just fell in love with it. I think it's beautiful. It's one of those stories about, about young men trying to uh, knock on the doors of, of the girls they're in love with and whatever happens then. Um, and then, of course, I discovered that the great Shirley Collins had heard this fragment and, and recorded it way back in the 1960s or 70s. Anyway, that's the story. It's called I Drew My Ship Into the Harbour. And this is our version of it. I drew my ship into the harbor I drew a cross to where my true love lay I drew it close to her bedroom window to listen to what my true love would say Who's there, who's there outside my bedroom window who shouts so loudly to come in Oh, tis your true love Who loves you dearly So come ye down and let me in And I will put My ship in order And I will set it on the sea and I will come to the harbor where my true love she waits for me and slowly 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 and slowly, slowly came she down But by the time she had the door unlocked Her true love had both come and gone 
And I will put my ship in order And I will set it on the sea And I will come to the harbor Where my true love she waits for me Come back, come back Come back, my true love, she said Come back, come back, she said And be by my side I never grieved you Never deceived you And someday soon I'll be your bride Oh, fish may fly And the seas run dry, my love And the rocks will melt The rocks will all melt in the sun and laboring men will cease their labor before that I come back this way again and I will put my ship in order and I will set it on the sea and I will come to the harbor where my true love she waits for me yes I will put my ship in order and I will set it on the sea And I will come to the harbor Where my true love, she waits for me Where my true love, she waits My true love, she waits for me. Mr. Josh Lynch, joined by Mr. Steve Bingham. Thank you both so very much. That was wonderful. Thank you. As I'm sure you, you can hear or you can see, um, we're having a few storms today and that's why the light's been fluctuating and stuff like that. And it's strange because recently the weather's been absolutely beautiful and calm. And, uh, and one of the manifestations of that, of course, have been these dinghies full of people trying to cross the channel and come to Britain. Uh, and some of our political commentators call, them, call it an invasion and they call it shameful. But I don't think it's anything of the kind. I think it's people just trying to uh, find a better life for themselves, just as we would in the same situation. And, um, and I wrote a song about what it must feel like uh, to be in that kind of situation. And for many of these people, uh, they've never been anywhere near the sea before. And so this is a song called The Water's Edge. Down at the water's edge Watching the waves scrape the pebbled shore Trying not to think of the inky depths I've never been on water before 
And we all gather round the men who know As they lead us to the waiting craft Looks to me more like a faded dream With its battered faces fore and aft And my God, I'd give the world to go back To the place I lived and loved so well but they rip the sun right out of the sky And turn my heaven into a living hell I see her now Leading the sheep to the pastures green she had the sweetest beauty I've ever seen But she went away when things got bad Took the voyage across the sea And now I have to find her For she means the world She's the only world left for me Stars shine your light Bring me back safe to the one I love Take these night fears from me Bring me blessings from above Moon shine your silver light and calm the heaving sea Cast your grace upon us This struggling mass of humanity For there's terror behind And there's hope ahead And we're balanced between them now To find the ones we love and be in safety's arms and live a normal life and live a normal life somehow and I stayed behind in my father's house a place I always held so dear it was my honour and my duty to try and keep the family safe in a village wrapped in fear. But it's over now and they've all gone and everything I know is no more. So I pack my bag to travel the world to find a place that I can call home. And my God, I'd give the world to go back To the place I lived and loved so well But they ripped the sun right out of the sky And turned my heaven into a living hell now in some foreign land and when I stand beside her pray God she offers me a, a helping hand and that's why I have to find her have to trust these men I see because then all these nightmares will be over because she means the world She's the only world left For me Stars, shine your light Bring me back safe to the one I love Take these night fears from me Bring me blessings 
from above. Moonshine your silver light, then calm the heaving sea. Cast your grace upon us, this struggling mass of humanity. For there's terror behind and hope ahead, and we're balanced between them now. To find the ones we love and be in safety's arms, then live a normal life. And live a normal life. Please let us live a normal life somehow. At the end of Great Expectations, one of the most popular novels ever written in the English language, uh, Pip, who's learnt a lot in his life, goes back to the ruins of Satis Hall where he had once suffered from his love for the young girl, Estella. And to his surprise, because Satis Hall has burnt down, to his surprise there in, in the gathering darkness, a figure comes towards him and it's how Charles Dickens chose to end Great Expectations. Well, I just decided to rewrite the chapter. I've called it Pip's Waltz. I came to the place at the end of the day with the mist rising up as the light ebbed away and I looked at the ruins with an ache in my heart I said my goodbyes and I wished for a new start I thought of the times when I was a boy the moments of pain and the moments of joy And the love that had hurt me forever back then And I wondered, would I ever love again? Then out of the darkness A figure appeared Tall and thin, dressed in black A ghost I feared but the ghost walked towards me and called out my name. Then the moon touched her cheek and I knew her again and I said, How can it be that you come to this place on the same night as me? And we meet face to face. And she looked at me sadly and held up her hand. As if maybe I'd understand I sat down beside her As stars filled the sky The moon shone on diamonds they were tears in her eyes She was still the same person That I once had known Then clouds hit the moon And she looked so alone A jumble of thoughts Swirled round my mind Would she still be so cruel Or could she be kind to me what should I say to her? What should I do? She 
should I just walk away? Or should I trust her in you? And she said, I have been broken and bent on the wheel by the things I've done and seen and the way they made me feel. But I think that I'm wiser and in a far better place. She talked with great passion from her sad earnest So I told her that I had made friends over there and had realized my folly and had learned how to care. And she held up her hand to give comfort and then I was lost and I loved her again. And as the clouds parted, the moon shone down bright on the two of us there in the silvery light and we talked till near dawn and I asked her to say would she stay close to me or would she go away and she said I cannot tell but at last we are friends that's how it starts let's see how it ends. Pips was. And for our final song, we're going to go. Uh, to a song which was part of an oratorio for orchestra and kids and adults and so on and so forth. It was commissioned by Ely Symphonia, which is uh, run by Ross Chalmers here, and uh, which involved narration uh, and some songs, and then the incredible orchestration and more music from Phil Toms over there. So this is a, an oratorio that the two of us wrote. Um, and in, uh, in the story, which I won't go into the whole story, but in the story, uh, two halves of the island are preparing for war and two parents of two separate children um, sing a song in which they desperately hope the war won't happen. It's called a song of peace and it seemed a, a good song to end with because it's what we wish all of you for all of you and uh, in these strange times we're living in uh, please stay safe. So this is a song of peace and here's Jenny for Bingham again. So here we go. to find a 
better way to solve our problems, all our problems day by day. Let's talk this through, let's put the guns away. We have to find. Please let us find. We have to find a better way. We have to stop the storm clouds coming here. We've never fought, so we don't want fighting. Our sons and daughters should never live in fear. We have to stop. Please let us stop. We have to stop. We don't want fighting. Our sons and daughters should never live in fear. We have to stop. Please let us stop. We have to stop. We don't want fighting here. I pray this sudden dash to war will somehow cease And the song we're singing will be a song of peace To banish fear and bring us all release And the song we sing, the song we sing the song we sing will be a song of peace. Thank you very much for listening to us. Jennifer Bingham, ladies and gentlemen. Maestro Steve Bingham, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. The wonderful Josh Lynch, please. Super arranger, Phil Toms and double bassist, please. And the ad hoc string ensemble. Thank you for listening to us. As I say, stay safe and goodbye. See you later. Bye-bye.